Hey guys, Boston25 here playing KSP once again. Today, we will be launching a Blue Origin New Shepard in Kerbal Space Program. I forgot to take out the field. Oh no, I didn't. Great. Next, I I did one test site and the gears ended up bu and one of the gears exploded due to over pressures, over stress, or call it what you want. So of course, the, the the first live broadcasted New Shepard launch will be on Sunday. Yeah, no blater in that to save weight. And also because otherwise it would just overspeed and slam to the ground. Also, unlike the real one, this thing, it is crude. As in, there are people on it, not as in it's a crude vehicle, as in there might be pieces missing. What? Um, how do I get out of... Escape? How the... F see? Yeah, okay. What? Oh, I staged. Cure revert? <laughs> yeah, this, this flight shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. As you can see, it's a bit slow off the pad. In other words, this isn't the actual Blue Origins launch site, but, or Blue Origin. I've no clue where that is, actually. This is Brownsville, Texas. It's actually a SpaceX launch site that SpaceX plans to use, at least according to... And also, this launch site is floating. Yeah, it's floating. Also, so this launch site is planned to be used by SpaceX, so when they launch, the vehicle, I, I think it's probably for Falcon Heavy, the vehicle will launch and a part of the boost, like, the booster will land at the KSC or something, I'm not sure. I'm honestly, I honestly have no clue of what the plan is, but, I'm just going what, what RSS tells me. So yeah, this is a different type of landing here from what I used last time, so, yeah, it's also a bit longer, but <laughs> it's only slightly longer than the engines, which may be problematic. Oh yeah, orbit info might be useful. I may have needed that fuel. Of course, the whole hey, A I thought I thought you should be show running predictions. Maybe just a slight bit more because. So it's not really going to be a problem with this if you miss slightly. And of course, the real one, this will be a more intense descent for both the capsule and the, and the, the booster. I'm just going to ascend straight up. Because I'm not exactly sure how much fuel will be required for... There we go. Hold position, smart ASS, surface, surface, execute. Also, just to be safe, because I don't trust this thing, infinite electricity. Now, the parachute is kind of unsafe to deploy at the moment. So we're just going to coast up a bit further. And then, just in the capsule. Oh, that, this is jet black. Because, of course, there's no ablator. And, of course, the thing is... Drag is still a thing. I'm opening those... Just to put, just to apply a bit more drag to the booster than to the capsule. So the capsule should overtake the booster. And of course, for some reason, the booster really likes flipping over. Where will we land? Right, we will land in what I consider a, in what I would consider a safe place. And there we go. Now. We'll disable pitch, your roll, anything, because we do not need them. 
Right, so now we're back past the Carmen line. And we are descending. And I'm going to drop out of warp. So, for the new Shepherd there, are going to be... It's going to be a more intensive landing burn. So we have 2,000 units of fuel on this. How much Delta V does that? We don't need Orbit Info at this point. What's going on? Why, why is it not... Okay, yeah, that's just a bit of an un instability because of that. No clue what that is, actually. What happens if I deploy? That's going to that's gonna cause the whole thing to roll. Alright, did I just, just invert it? No, I disabled the deployment. Okay. I think we should be fine as in the boost, as in... Of course, the... Th yeah... That's kind of thing that happens is... Yep, there we go. Entry effects. Come on. Come on, work with me. Work with me here, capsule. Work with me. There. And as you can see, we're overtaking the booster because it has a... Another cross-section, I'm going to say. Why? Yep. There, you go. there seems to be a bit of turbulence. I think this thing is trying to fly... But it's not working. And we're 10 kilometers up. And that's unnerving because we're moving too quickly for me to deploy. Like, seriously, man. We need to slow the frick down. Slow down. Boom. Right. Booster. Well. Okay. Throttle up. Because I've... And surface info. Give me that precious surface info! Okay, now I can throttle back and cut the engine. But I should drop the gear. Boom. And that's boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quick, quick alt F12 usage. Oh, well, that actually is coming in pretty nicely. And we've got the capsule coming down over there, so we... We will have almost simultaneous landings. Because we want this landing to be... As smooth as possible. There we go! Yes, I did it without, without any of the landing legs exploding. Wheel stress, zero. Great! Now let's disable the brakes. And then here's the new Shepard. Yay! That was actually pretty cool. And of course, this would be the f fourth flight for this booster. And command module. Well, the command module, I'm not sure if it's the fourth or what. Now, I've had SpaceX does make their does quite a bit of saying, yeah, we did. Like we did fail. We tried and failed. It was Blue Origin in the first episode they just showed the um the cap standing they're like, Yep, it's a success. They never once mentioned that they actually tried to land the booster and it failed. B O. But anyways guys, that was a launch of New Shepherd in KSP RSS. I'm Boston twenty five. Goodbye.